I've had a lot of fun so far. Feels great to come out here. It's a beautiful day. A lesson in agronomy outside. You know, maybe we learn about it in textbook and in theory, but out here in the field like we are today, you're seeing some real life stuff that's going to come back to them for future production agriculture. 150 FFA students from four area high schools are leaving the Farmer's Pride Field Day with an earful of knowledge. How like fertilizer works and like what, how different hybrids can help. What affects crops the most as far as getting the most yield out of your corn and soybeans. Logan Blake is a senior at Norfolk High. Despite being in his last year, he plans to pass on the information. I'm definitely planning on going back to our chapter and sharing these experiences. Students visited five stations throughout the day, soaking up the sun and taking notes. You know, they've been engaged. They knew a lot of the answers we asked through with them already, which was impressive. Sales and Marketing Director Dave Spencer says he hopes the event not only educates kids, but works to combat a growing ag labor shortage. Yeah, we're trying to build a, the future for agriculture is with the young people. Uh, it's an industry that needs to recruit. The latest census data shows more than half of Nebraska's population now lives in three of its largest counties, leaving fewer people in rural areas to fill jobs. So there's a lot of opportunities for People of all younger ages to look across many, many jobs in agriculture. It's the first FFA field day in Battle Creek, but Spencer says it won't be the last. That will only grow, I think, from here because uh, the instructors are always looking for more up-to-date industry information. And as for the students. It means a lot, and it, I just know that I'm making some of my ancestors pretty proud. In Battle Creek, Amanda Poole, News Channel, Nebraska.